happened there. But good evening, Geek Nation. I'm George, and this is That Geek Show, the show where we talk about the latest and greatest from the world of collecting movies, video games, TV, and tech. And with me, as always, to break all this stuff down is my brother from another mother, Calvin the Statue Fanatic. What's up, brother? Not much, man. I'm still like on cloud nine from our trip to Japan, man. I had yeah. a great time, so... I'm still on Japan time, I think. I haven't been able to go to sleep right all week. <laughs> I know. Same here. I, would, I didn't want to complain about it because I figured, you know, like, but I think that's the real thing, man, this whole jet lag thing. I've yeah. totally been off schedule. Yeah. Yeah, me too. All right. All right. And then we have the Colossus of Pop Figure Collector, Seth the Pop Knight Bayer. How's that, Seth? Is that better? That was pretty good, but I didn't think that I thought we were going to change that. Now, yeah, he's never yo, happy. he's never fucking happy, bro. He's never fucking happy, dude. I swear, I, I'm just not gonna have him on the show one of these days, and that's gonna make me happy. What's up, Seth? No, what's up, everybody? Fucking jerk. <laughs> and George is not even drinking. I'm saying, man. I'm saying, dude. I felt like I, I, got, I nailed that one by once. For once, I nailed it. I think. I thought you did a great job. I, I thought I you did, did an amazing you, job. Thank you. I like uh, I like uh, Pinche's comment already. He goes, "The glitch occurred due to Frozen being a discussion topic." <laughs> that's probably that's probably the reason. Uh, well, we're we, gonna try and let that go today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'll tell you why I wanted to talk about it in a second, but we'll get to that. All right, and then we got Junior Statue Collector in the house. What's up, Junior? He's up. He's still on mute. He's still on plug. on mute. <laughs> You're on mute, dude. <laughs> plug your microphone back in. You know. Because you're plug. on mute. Hey. Plug, plug, plug your microphone. I think he's giving us baseball signs. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Somebody's running the first. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway. All right. He'll eventually get his mic fixed. All right. Then we got the connoisseur comics in the house. What's up, Chad? What is going on, guys? Welcome back. It's good to have uh, you guys back. Hey, what's the nut Hey, there. Oh, they, now he's back. <laughs> we'll we'll kick it back to Junior. Go, Junior. No, go, no, go. Go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, man. I'm just happy to be here. I had a rough week last week. I had a bad string of luck. So uh, I'm just happy. It's a new week. It's a new Monday. I'm hanging out with you guys and all the MCE universe, and I'm ready to talk some comics and statues. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it when it's called the series of unfortunate events. <laughs> All right, hey, I, yeah, I just didn't want to get hit with any uh, copyright there. Let's so. not let's not give it any more love it's because last week all the comments you were giving me about the things that were happening to you, I was starting to feel bad for you. I felt like I need to bro, go down there and like throw some bro, incense on you. And get I that still bad have ginger. just I still have a rental. I'll just throw some stage at him. Yeah, something. I, yeah, I still have a rental car right now, which is blowing my mind. Calvin, we should have brought him home some of those like uh, those. Uh, those wards that they have, you know, to like ward off evil demons and shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious, man. I need it. Yeah, 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 he's, he's totally Murphy's Law. If it's going to go sure. wrong, it, it happens. Whoa, but man. I do got a new phone that works and is functional, so I'm really happy about that. Shout out to my brother. Is, he helped is, me it, a fl- is it a flip phone? Yeah, you know, how to go back in time a little bit, you know? You got to <laughs> press like that. You got to press like the number one button just to get the one letter that you need. Bro, That's I used time. to be so good at that in class. I could like text under my desk that way. I miss <laughs> those days, actually. I wish I could go back to those times, man. Oh, man. And then uh, my brother will be joining us tonight. He gave me a message. Oh, I wish I would have known. I was waiting yeah, to scoot up John for in that. The house. Because oh, he was calling was me the... out that time. Damn it. I oh, been if that was the case, I wouldn't have been on tonight. No? Oh, yeah? Then why is that, Seth? And why is that? No reason at all. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Anyway. Oh boy. Anyway, I got frozen as a topic on here, but I saw that trailer and I, and I don't know, man. It, it actually uh-huh. looked like something I might want to see. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, what's up with Junior? Yo, you, now that you can talk, what's up, bro? What's up, chat? Hey, everything good, man. Everything good with you, bro? Everything good with me? I, yeah, you. I see that you found a home for Doomsday back there, man. Oh, nice. yeah. That corner's been made for him like six months man, ago. Chad kind of comes a little aggressive. I think he's just taking charge. The I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know, man. Chat, you got some classic comics there for me? Hey, yeah. If you, I got them if you need them, baby. I got that <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 28, that classic Steve Ditko and Stan the, Lee. That's what I'm talking so. about. The hustle, baby. The hustle. <laughs> Listen, we, we, I, I just literally came up with a new concept for a new show that we can have for the channel, and it's just Junior and Chad. Oh, and man. Basically, you, you bring up one topic, 
and then just have them debate the whole topic. <laughs> we would need a moderator. Georgia has to be there. I think Dark Mufasa's got the right, right idea. Chad with the heat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's say what's up to people in the chat, man. We got, yeah, we got 45 Chad. people. Yeah, we got the queen of the Marvelous Knights in the house, Barbara Lopez. Man, what she's up, my Barbara? girl. She's, yeah, it's Barbara's yeah. the Barbara. Choo -choo. We got, uh, we got, we got, we got, I keep reading everybody else's got what's popping in there. Pinche Borracho. Morale yeah. Holmes. Red Hood's up in the house. Mm -hmm. Edwin Diaz. Ed, Ed Dude. Yeah. Boy Roy. Roy. Boy Roy's in here. Yeah, hey, shout out to Roy, Roy. man. That's my comic guy right there, man. What? OG yeah. Geek. Who's that? I haven't Xavier. seen that before. Vic, Vic is Yo, in here. We got Joe Ryan in the house. Joe Ryan Comics. What's up, Fuck man? Old Biggie Daddy. Oh, yeah. Infamous is here. Ed Dude. Oh. What's up, Ed Dude? Nice to Ed, see you again, man. That's my brother, Infamous. That's my brother. Oh, infamous Riz. is here. All right. OG Geek, Dark Mufasa. Yeah, I like what uh, what David Zert is saying, Junior and Chad, buddy cop movie. I would dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, man, we can make some money, yo. We should make that happen. That would be pretty good. We can make that happen, bro. We can make some money, Junior. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, man. <laughs> I would total, pay to see that. Total lethal, total lethal weapon right there. Oh, Junior's, my God. Junior's like, I'm getting too old for this shit. Uh, and, what are we gonna, <laughs> and what are we going to drive? A Prius? Yeah, bro. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh, it's perfect. Javier, you know I'm ready for that pop off, bro. I've been ready. For, I've been ready That's for this weeks. week, right? That's this Saturday. I've been ready for that shit for weeks. Um, however, however, Commissioner Joe decided to throw a uh, a little bit of a wrench into uh, the match this week. So, for anybody that watched the last one, where it was. Um, uh, hockey Hunter versus Sergeant Funko, and Hockey Hunter got his ass handed to him. Speak of Hockey Hunter, he yeah, just speak of Hockey chat. Hunter he's in here right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, just, you just get me in right now. Yep. So Joe, Joe created a match that's going to go on before mine and Sergeant Funko's, where it's going to be Quake versus Hockey Hunter, and if I Hockey like it, and if Hockey Hunter wins, Hockey Hunter has now been included into the match. It'll be a triple threat? And it'll be a triple threat match. Oh, man. Hey, um, Wrestling at its finest. Hey, I like hey, it. Sean Lee, Lee, is that Lee says that, are there bootleg pops? That's just our conversation before. Yeah, we were yeah. actually talking about that before we came online. Yes, there are there are companies. Well, I don't even know if you would consider them bootlegs, but there are cus people who make custom custom pops and there's bootleg. people that, that can get um, custom boxes made to, to make it look you know close to. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know if you would call them bootleg, but they're, you know, I guess, you know, just like, you know, people say um, fan art, you know, would be more of like, um, you know, just like custom, you know, just custom pops. That's all. Okay. Okay. AKA hey, bootleg. Hey, Calvin. <laughs> Calvin. They go there with, they go there with, uh, with the Sharpie marker and they draw a smile on the, on the vinyl face. Yo, actually, actually, you know, actually, you know, I've seen people make, the, make custom uh, and they take the, um, you know, the clay and everything and they, and they mold it and they paint it. And, you know, but and even the custom and, and blank really, ones, I've seen some good custom blank ones too. I've seen Calvin some looks, Calvin ones. looks very happy today and up. Oh, did you get that toilet? <laughs> Yo, this episode is all fire. You gotta come for me. I didn't even come for you. You gotta come for me. I didn't say shit to you. I didn't say shit to you, JR. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. You're happy and up. For those of you who yeah, didn't watch last episode, you should, should probably get that oh show before my you watch this one. Oh. I'm sitting here minding my own business. I didn't say nothing. There goes JR. Starting to shit. Oh, man. My bad, man. <laughs> Sean it. says, what a shitty thing to say. <laughs> you got the right toilet. You got the right toilet to clean it, too. Oh, <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that's funny. All, I can, all I can, all I, all I can say is that everyone, you know, just come out and show your support for me on Saturday. Uh -oh. And uh, okay. remember, again, I, I've said this multiple times already. It's not a popularity contest. You vote for who you feel has the best pops. Okay. That's bullshit. We vote for who we like. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm voting for Seth. Straight up. <laughs> Even though what? he don't like my intros, but I'm still gonna vote for you. <laughs> just letting you know, Seth. That's what Thanks. good friends do. <laughs> It was a, a splash for you. And, and, and if you really wanted to win, <laughs> Ted, Ted, Did you know that? Ted, you a splash for Seth. your past. I saw that. I ignored it. Seth, yeah, you have to campaign, man. This is not a fair fight. You have to campaign. <clears throat> I'm, 
I'm not campaigning, campaigning for anything. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out there and you're do gonna what bring I, the heat. That's I'm gonna go gonna out. Do, I'm gonna go out there and do what I do best. And yeah, I'm bring gonna, the heat. I'm gonna I talk see what you've been picking up lately. Shit. Okay, Chad. I'm gonna go ahead and, and talk shit and kick ass as I go as you know as I go along the way. So we're. Uh, I'm running full. I'm running full steam this week. No, people uh, tried to play Chris nice with Trump. You see what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Who cares? Where did Donald Trump come into this? Yeah. That's just where it is. <laughs> make make America make America great, right? Make Chrome again, right? I can't make Chrome. I can't make America Chrome again until after I get that belt back. Once right, I get so, that, so hey, how me, long? How long have you been out? How long have you been without your belt, there, Seth? Been, uh, it's going on since uh, December. Man, it's a long time. It's sad. It is. A, it is a long time, but I got a feeling that time's about to come to an end. Been using so. suspenders, huh? Somebody said George is kicking him out. He's way too quiet. That's Roy said that actually. Yeah. Roy said I'm way too quiet. Yeah, that's yeah. messed up. He's quiet. usually calling me out for being. Yo, said I saw some of the things you picked up on your Instagram though, man. So. Oh, well, that was just for the that was just for the fun of it. I'm hiding all the good shit. Uh, so no one knows yeah, what I'm hey, doing. All right, yeah, well, so I, and that's why I say I, th I think you're gonna bring that heat, man, because yeah, just basically. based off of that, you know. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I guess I'm excited to see what you're gonna bring, bro. I'll be watching. It'll 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 definitely be. Uh, be interesting that's for sure there's gonna you know everyone's gonna be really really surprised about what i bring and what happens so all true. right george is quiet because he's drinking move him along he's getting I'm drunk i'm not drinking i'm drinking water <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, sober. Thing, you know? I'm just <laughs> gonna take him at his word i thought the same thing but he said he's not i don't know yeah uh, even if i show you guys you're just gonna be like it's clear liquor i'm like it's just water <laughs> with some Bacardi up in there. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, I'd be, in, I'd be in a much more loving mood. Um, Sometimes so, I forget this is a channel about collecting stuff. Yeah, as we're always talking shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, the, I mean, uh, Punisher got canceled. I guess Marvel's did, yeah, Marvel's Pun Pun yeah, Punisher and Jessica Jones. And Jessica Jones. Got the but they're going to show Jessica Jones season three, which I'm like, like I care. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I never, I, I'm, I'm I with you. I never really had interest in Jessica Jones, but dude, the fucking Punisher, that was like one of the best. The, the yes, Punisher and Daredevil were the two best out of all of them. Yeah, Correct. I agree with you 100%. I really think this stuff is going to move over to uh, the streaming service. I think so, too. Did you read that? I read an article okay. where they were talking about that, that uh, where Marvel was saying that they were separating, but they were saying that it's not over for those those TV series. Those franchise, yeah. 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 That, 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 um, who, that Hulu's trying to pick up... Um, daredevil and uh, punisher right now I, I mean i can see them on hulu but i don't see anything like that on the disney streaming service no you before, can't have you know that I mean? you can't have that so stuff it, on i mean if it's going to continue i'm all about it but i don't see it continuing on disney streaming but if hulu is going to pick it up that's good unless so they have like they unless they not call it the disney streaming service i think they need to call it something more neutral oh, so they can't yeah. put yeah. like disney unless, Plus? Un unless they go unless they go ahead they pick it up and they create a separate start, separate uh, streaming service and call it d after dark <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know that would be uh, <laughs> that would be uh, pretty pretty interesting. But you know, <clears throat> just call it double these. <laughs> uh, uh, other than that, then then put some water guns on the Punisher instead of real guns. Ed Ed do makes a good point, which is true that uh, Disney owns the controlling shares of Hulu, so it could oh, show. Oh, that, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, I mean, if yeah, you think sure. about it, at this point, what the hell doesn't what does Disney not own? I mean, Disney's got Fox, ESPN. Marvel, I mean, Star Wars, what else? What else do you need, Mouse? What else do you need? We need him to take over Warner Brothers so we can get some better DC Shit. movies, though. No? <laughs> Fucking Mouse needs to slow it down so everybody else can get some of that cheese. I guess you're right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Whoa. Whoa. I ain't happy about that. Oh, this guy's about to rip out his shirt. Hey, have you guys ever noticed in every like time that you take a picture with Mickey Mouse at Disney, he's got his hand out, like, pay me. You'll notice that now every time, bro. Like, Mouse is always asking for money. You know you know what's funny is that they used to have the talking, they used to have the talking Mickey Mouse, and then they took him away. Really? I didn't know yeah. that. Scary yeah, kid. Yeah, 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 back back in the day, I though. Was, um, I think he was giving out too much uh, information. That was like when it was black and white. Yeah, I remember that. Wow. Steamboat Mickey. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. I, I grew know. up. You know what? You know what? F Mickey Mouse. I grew up with Mighty Mouse. Oh, oh my god! It's I crazy. also grew up with Danger. Here Mouse. I come to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. I think Disney hit the ha the nail on the head with uh, Wally. I don't know if anybody's seen Wally. Yeah, Wally's but great. By and large, is basically going to be Amazon, and we're going to be living on a ship. We're going to be living on a ship in space <laughs> soon enough. 
and everybody's going to be morbidly obese, and we're going to have these little little chairs that make everybody scoot around, and you know, listen, you heard it from me first, Amazon. They're going to take it. Okay, Barbara is giving you a lot of love with that T-shirt there, Chad. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, ripping the NWO. NWO, bro. You already know. Take that Just off. Take that sweet. off. You know what? It's nice yeah. to see that we have some some, re- wrestling, some wrestling fans, fans in here. Seth, we got to get something wrestling podcast related going. We got to talk. It's, off it's air nice. About that. It's nice to see some some wrestling people. Elimination was, Chamber was now a wrestling show that has Seth wrestling. All right, here, comic right here. Biggest say, um, biggest say. Who's wearing the best shirt tonight? Let's vote. Comic, uh, what is it? Comics and gore. How the hell is DX included in the Hall of Fame before NWO? The NWO, I think, it was already inducted into the Hall of Fame. I believe so. Yeah, all the members are. And yeah, hey, hey, and who, and he, who brought that window? To, who, who brought it to you guys? Who opened up those doors for you guys? What are you talking about, bro? Wrestling. Who opened those doors? Who was the first wrestling? Tell me. Oh, oh man. Don't do the F wrestling, baby. Oh, Kogan. Yeah, but, well, I was saying my, Andre the Giant. My dad yeah. ma- let me watch don't it don't on that. Saturday mornings when I was a kid. I don't know. He's the one that introduced me to wrestling. Hmm. Well, yeah, WWE. Yeah, WWE Dusty now. Rose, Same thing. Andre the Giant. Macho Man. Bro, Macho Man is one of my favorites Ooh, of all time. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bite to Slim Jim. Oh, yeah, man. Bite to Slim Jim. The cream of the crop, <laughs> Mean Gene. See, Mean Gene Okerlund. The cream always rises to the top. Oh my God. No, this is, this is what you call Barbara said Whoa. Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Monday Night Raw. <Right. laughs> Monday Night Raw. <laughs> That's a good one. That's yeah, it, but it's on right now. Uh, right here. It's on right now. Oh, I'm yeah. Get, I'm, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm getting text messages right now about stuff that's going on that I'm missing right now. Who was your Who was your favorite one back in WWF? When I was a kid growing up, it was Stone Cold Steve Austin. He and was what the was yours? main and what guy. was yours? When I was a kid, when I was a kid, it was it was Hulk Hogan. But now, na- but okay. now is my all time favorite overall. It it was CM Punk. Okay, and yours, George? You didn't watch it when you were young. I didn't watch it. I knew Hulk Hogan, but I mean, that's probably all. I mean, I know and the you? others too, but Hulk Hogan probably the one that would relate to the most. You will vote, and you, Calvin? Andre the Giant. Andre, Andre the Giant. Giant. Uh, Anybody uh, want a peanut? I like Jake the Snake. <laughs> I mean, oh, Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, yeah. that's a great. Every time he, every time he got him down, he put us. I can't watch yeah. this stuff though. And, and the it. chat, and the chat. Who was your favorite wrestler for WWF? I mean, my favorite wrestler of all time might be Rick Flair. Rick Flair. <laughs> Rick Flair. That might be my Whoa. favorite wrestler of all time. But my favorite Whoa. wrestler as a kid growing up Comic was Stone Cold. Cold. Bro, Warrior. I remember. My Bro favorite Warrior. wrestler right now is Kevin Owens. That's Dusty right. Rhodes. Do you guys the Rock, remember? Remember the Rock? The Rock was good too when he was out. Yeah. All right, all right. Guess Listen, the, 90s, the, the 90s attitude error was definitely the best. Something that we'll never get again. Yeah, which, which is exactly, which is something we'll never get again. That was the best yeah, error man. of of wrestling in my uh, The Undertaker, uh, Roddy Roddy Piper. That was the Undertaker. I'm assuming they're pops of all of these people. Yeah, I have them all right here on my shelf. Okay. What about Andre the Giant? Is there one of him? Oh, for sure. turning the wrong way to ten inch pop. There you go. They're all. They're, they're all. They're all. They're all. Oh, wow! <laughs> it's the big pop. Hacksaw yeah. <laughs> Dugan. Hacksaw Jim. Uh, Dugan. Bad yeah. News yeah. Brown. Bad News Brown member. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bad News Brown. Yeah. The, what was the name? The sergeant. What was the sergeant's oh, name? Sergeant, sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter. Yeah, remember Slaughter, that. Man. Man, I used to see all oh, the man. That's when I watched wrestling. When they, when they Somebody just said the junkyard dog. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. I, I know Seth will remember, but one of my favorites was Crash Holly because he used to come out with the weight, oh, like the scale, because he was like the pound for pound yeah. best fighter. Oh, you know? And what was the scale? pair? What was the pair? The duels? Do you remember the one with, the one with the um with the English bulldog? Oh, the British, British Bulldog. The British Bulldog. Yeah, the, the, the English oh, Bulldog. Rest right. in peace, George. both of those guys. Actually. Yeah. George Frankie Artez says, "I wonder if George is susceptible to Jedi mind tricks. I want his turtles." Oh, <laughs> yeah, mind tricks don't work on me. Only money. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Oh no. Ugh. We can go on and on for hours about wrestling, but that's yeah, not yeah. why we're here. Let's talk about geek shit. Let's go, George. Let's get go. Geek shit. Let's Can we get the Frozen, frozen. too? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the, the Frozen movie. <laughs> All right. I want to keep mean, talking about wrestling. We're going to talk about Frozen. He, he wants to keep talking about wrestling. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to let it go. You What's ready to up? let it go? Okay. Did you guys see <laughs> the trailer right. at all? At least. Yeah, I saw it. I'm in. I dig it. I didn't see it. I'm with you, George. 
I, I think it looks it, well. First of all, it, it didn't really say much. I mean, I don't think no. there was like any words in the in the trailer at all. Um, but it showed a lot. It did, it, but, I, but I was like confused with it. It's like at one point she looks like she's going in the water. She can't make it in the water, and I'm thinking maybe Moana's gonna come out and help her out. That would you be know? great, right? And then and then she does like a whole blizzard thing where she gets out in the center there and becomes like you know, like yeah, a, what like on a she, she might be evil, evil man. Hmm? She, she might turn evil. A, um, what is it like a deserted island or something? And she's trying to get off of it. No, and then they have like all of this like you know uh, suspenseful looks and shit. And then somebody like pulls or this girl pulls up, or the, the sister pulls out like a sword and like slashes at the screen. And then you get like this frozen two come out. And I'm and I'm like. This don't look like a musical at all. I was like, I could watch nope. this. <laughs> uh, I can, I can so, tell, I can tell you firsthand that I've never seen Frozen. Well, yeah. I got daughters, dude. I'm gonna yeah. see Frozen. Yeah, in fact, yeah, I've, I've seen Frozen. Have, uh, have daughters, so yeah. I've got two. I've got two boys, and they don't watch Frozen. So, so yeah, me neither. But it's okay if they did. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, it's okay if they did. I don't care. I just I, they they haven't watched Frozen. They're more. Uh, Wreck It Ralph and Cars and um, yeah, look, Frank yeah. the Tank says the MCU of Disney movies. I, I I think it looks it looks it it came out like that way. It felt like it was more action. You Shout know, out to Frank movie. the Tank. Yo, Yo, what's up, Frank? Tyrell, what's up, man? Frozen pops are coming for Seth. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if subscribers are sending that, them to you? Though that'll be that'll be a cold day in hell before that happens. But what happens <laughs> if you get sent one as a gift, Seth? I mean, I'll keep, I'll keep, listen, anything that anyone sends me, I keep because, you know, people take the time and the consideration and their own money to send me stuff, which is great. And I really appreciate it. And I also love the letters that you guys send me too. I hold on to that stuff. I do not get rid of that stuff. So if you guys want to send me a frozen pop, I will hold on to it. You can always go to my videos and find my PO box in the description. There you go. All right. <laughs> right. I just like it. Every single <laughs> so Lewis says that me and my daughter agree Tangle was a better movie than Frozen. I I'm not a big fan of Frozen. I, I agree with him there. I don't know if Tangle was was the movie to go with it, but okay. So of, of the Disney I movies, like, which would, would you say is the better one? Of the newer ones, I'd say Moana, man. Right? I would say Moana. Moana's like the, Moana's the, the hit one I would think. Yeah. Of I the like, newer stuff. I, I like Vic's comment. He says, "Come on, Seth. If it's a limited pop, you'll be first in line singing." Oh yeah. No. <laughs> no, you know if they, if they make an Elsa in Chrome, he's down. He's getting that yeah. shit. If it's a Chrome, um, the same thing. listen. If it comes in Chrome, that that's that's you know that, that's a whole other ball game. <laughs> <laughs> and I figured it out. It's because Seth is conceited. He can see his reflection in the in the Chrome. So that's the reason why he likes those things so much. He's like, "Oh, it's so beautiful." <laughs> wow, that is funny. Man. No, no, Ed, no, Eddie Diaz, you do not send me Game of Thrones pops. Hey, Roy, oh, take it easy, Rose. man. Roy's leaving. Roy's oh man, all right, yeah, Roy. Have have a good night, man. It's only eight thirty. Have a good night. Have a good night, Roy. I didn't talk. That's why I said good night because we're talking Yo, about. Fun. I just want to mention, like, hey, Roy beats his record every week, right? It's like every week it gets shorter. Like, uh, damn, that's all right. He comes. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, then. But no, he shows though, man. You gotta shout him out, man. That's my comic guy, bro. Anytime, bro. <laughs> Have a good night, Roy. Well, when we were in uh, Japan, gone too soon. Gone well, too we were soon. in Japan. He could stay the whole show. So, so we're learning. We're learning about. We're really learning about Roy right now. So we can't talk about Frozen. We can't talk <laughs> about Star Wars. Um, Star Wars gets him gone like that. Yo, oh, yeah, he yeah. was. In, we were talking <laughs> wrestling, and he was in here. He was so. in. Yeah, yeah. He was in here. So, so bring so out I'm a lightsaber, and he runs the yeah. other direction. I don't know if he's scared of it. <laughs> you know, he That's thinks funny. a Jedi mind trick is. You know, <laughs> That's funny. I don't know what happens with that one. All right, Episode so nine I, finished wrapping, George. Yeah, I heard. I know. I'm. I'm kind of excited to see where they're going with it next. What you what? They finished what? I like that they started talking about also doing a uh, Han Solo TV show. Hey, so, I'm in. I'll I'm take it that. too. I'm all and the Mandalorian finished. You know, I want to see that. That's what do you say? They finished what? Really they finished the shooting, shooting, wrapping, out. They wrapped uh, up shooting. Uh, uh, uh. I want to see an origin movie about Chewbacca. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that'd, yeah. Be, that'd, that'd be I cool. Dig that. That'd be cool. I yeah. want to like see. I want to see what happens on Kashyyyk. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's pretty. I would like to see that. I think that we we should do a a, a parody of that. What do you what do you think, Seth? Uh, we, no, we should do <laughs> we should do a, a, a trailer. Yo, oh, but George, yo, we should do a trailer of of a Chewbacca <laughs> origin movie, bro. And we'll, and we'll have yo, but don't you get appear. Chewie on uh, Kashyyyk in Episode Three? They they show him with on Yoda. There. No, he's, he's already like, older at that point. Clones, yeah, he's already old, old, right? So it was, you was, see, like, it was Attack of that? the Clones wow, when he was on Kashyyyk. Oh, is it Attack of the Clones? Yeah, we got we got we got the we got we got the chat talking about the, the girl clones. the girl wrestlers now. It was the it was uh, Revenge the of the Sith. Wrestlers. It was not Attack of the Clones. No, it was, no, it was Return. Revenge of the Clones when he it was clo the Attack of the Clones when he was on Kashyyyk. Revenge of the Sith. You want to bet Revenge this? Yes, I do want to bet it. Okay, what are we betting? 
20 bucks. Okay, I'm down. Revenge of the Sith was the movie where, where he's on Kashyyyk. I'll take that 20 bucks tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> I will. Oh, you need to prove it. You never cracks me up. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm serious. And the chat, if you want to jump in and, and comment on that with me, if anybody yeah, watches well, Star Wars. I thought it was episode three as well. So that's It is why. episode three. It's Revenge so. of the Sith. They, that's, that's the only that's, scene where he's in the movie and he's bringing Yoda to the escape pod as Yoda, exactly. as Yoda leaves. Yeah, because Yoda knew he was defeated and he's like, I'm out. Yeah. We, I've lost. So I'll take those 20 bucks tomorrow, Seth. You know, oh, I need don't, go, don't go buy another pop figure. And don't come hey, at me tomorrow and tell me that you, you spent the money on a pop figure. You got it, Bob. Bro. Rip China. China was one of the best women wrestlers. People are just talking about women wrestlers in the chat right now. China. Uh, see what we did? See what we did? Yeah. See what we just did? Everybody talking about women wrestlers. It's all right. I just won 20 bucks, man. This night's turned out pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm feeling good now. All right, Seth. Thank you, bro. I was wondering how I was going to buy lunch the next couple of days. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> Here you go. Your lunch money. Get some lunch money. So give me my lunch money. <laughs> No. Oh, no. Guy, here's the proof for that 20 bucks. There you go, Seth. Thank you, Infamous. Ooh, ooh, they even sent it to you. Ooh. Ah, oh, Seth. Infamous says he collects 5%. Hold Just on. kidding. Uh, That's all right. I keep Infamous. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, guys. Check it out. Check it out. I knew he was going to play it, right? This, this, is the, play. this is the face of a loser right here. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, I don't know. Every time, every time the camera goes to Calvin, he looks happy as hell and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, what I, I did catch up on uh, Calvin was Attack on Titan. I'm like, I'm already ready to jump into season three, which season three just came out recently. Yeah, I just got through season two. I haven't done season three because on Hulu is not dub and I don't feel like reading. No, they have it on, on Funmation. You can get like a free subscription for like a week. And you can just oh, wow. It. Yeah, that's what, I'm, cool. that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to finish it up and then I'm just going to cancel the subscription afterwards. Now, Crunchyroll, on the other hand, had a lot of other animes on there that I'm, I want to check out. So I'm Barber, I am not drinking. How about that? Nope, not drinking. Oh, you're full of shit. You were drinking before the show. I was not. <laughs> no, Ellen, like, you know what? He's happy. I, I think I he, got that. Come up. He, he got that toilet, <laughs> Ellen. That's why he's happy. I'm going to just sit quietly here. <laughs> yep, I'm going miss One Piece is one that I want to check out. <laughs> You've been sitting around lately quietly somewhere. <laughs> And dude, I haven't seen One Punch Man. I want to check that out also. That's part of the reason why I want to keep that Crunchyroll service is that yeah. they have so many different ones on there. Um, I've seen this is not working I've on my Apple TV though. I've seen bits and pieces of One Punch Man. I kind of like it. You kind of like that one? One Punch Man is cool. I want to see One Piece. I've been I've been interested in that one for like about a year now. Every time I, I see that, that said that by the way, and that's his favorite everything of all time. When One it comes to like, yeah, when it comes to like a written or drawn out, you know, manga or even, you know, you could say the, you know, anime part of it, that's his favorite thing. So when I was in Japan, they were I was being told anyway, I don't know if this is accurate or it's, not, but they were saying it's more popular than than Dragon Ball. I said that here and you, you said guys that too, right? Crazy. Yeah. I said yeah, it's the most ongoing thing. It has not stopped and the creator that start like he's the been the guy from the beginning that's been creating it. So uh, yeah, it's oh, the biggest, is better yeah, than Dragon Ball. That's yeah, what they're saying. There, man. It's bigger. It's bigger than Dragon Ball out there. Oh, for sure. wow. I want. Okay. I want to check it out though. So I'm. I'm Monkey, yeah, I think Monkey I'm gonna keep that service. Luffy. For all the One Piece fans out there, Monkey D. Luffy. <laughs> what did you say? I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna find out. <laughs> He's the main character. And then on on Netflix they have um, the Umbrella the Umbrella Academy. I haven't checked that yeah, out yet. Yeah, and good reviews. Is uh, that good Mark reviews? I believe it's a uh, Mark Millar. I want to check it out though. You know, it looks superheroish, so right. It's based on a comic. Yeah. So Indy, yeah, check that out. I did see the second season of the of the Dragon Prince. That's pretty cool. It, it's kind of like it's got Disney esque anime to it. It's got like that type of animation to it. Um, and then kind of childlike at times, a little bit of Lord of the Rings in there, kind of. It, it has a very fantasy feel to it. Seth so. knows. Is never gonna watch it. No, man. he's never gonna watch it. I mean, I said that I was like, nope. I'm out. What's that? <laughs> Dragon <laughs> Prince. I don't even know what that is. All you had to hear was that it's kind of like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, yeah he's out. <laughs> Jesse says also that the that the umbrella <laughs> show is good. All right, I'm gonna check it out. There's also another uh, show coming out on Netflix that's based off a comic called Magic Order, so you can be on the lookout for that. That just like ended as a comic. <clears <clears <throat> have up by right. Netflix to be something. So it's like a. I guess like a wizard thing. 
True. All right. Well, let's do, let's do display or name, man. What about that? Let's get into that. I'm down. It's time for display or name. We Actually, do. before we get into display or name, we had a release today that came out that I wanted to show you guys before we get into that. So, um, HMO I I that came out today. So, yeah. is this like a world premiere? No, nah, not necessarily because they picked the images also were on their site like about a couple hours ago, but it just came out today. So we may be the first video out there at least that that shows the images. But cool. um, let me get to that. Let me see where. Spoiler. It is. Bah, bah. Yeah, right. Uh, where did I put that? Here. Yeah, boom. So it's uh, Mai. This is from uh, or May. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce her name. She's from uh, King of Fighters. She's also in uh, Dead or Alive uh, and uh, Fatal Fury. And this is the statue that is going to be coming out from HMO Collectibles. That looks really good. Yeah, it does look pretty good, right? Looks really good. I actually like that. Yeah, it looks really good. So this one's coming up for pre-order next week, uh, the 23rd. And what they told me was that if you are part of their group, which is the HMO Collectibles Insider, uh, you can get early access to the pre-order. So you don't miss out because there's only going to be, I think, cool. it's got a really low run. It's like 500 and change. What's the price? Uh, there, I don't think they've they've announced what the price is yet. Okay. Let me tell you real quick what the edition size is. It is going to be 550 pieces, and that's it. Okay. Not so it's bad. got a very low low run of that. Not bad at all. And then if I'm gonna say Jr. just ordered it. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say it. Looks like Jr. just ordered it. Hey, listen. What do you think I made this space for? For just nothing? <laughs> I made this space to put statues. I didn't make this space to have it empty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate, on me I, don't, hate on me. don't hate on me because I got the space in you. I love, I love when people come into the chat and have the same mentality as me. So Infamous is your brother, right, Chad? Yeah, that's my brother. Titties. Hey, <laughs> hey, can I have a question? Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is her dress fabric? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. Why well, you want to take it? Never mind. Forget it. Yeah. Uh, you know where that was going, Calvin. I like, slid right I, into I, that, bro. I like, I like Frankie, Fra Frankie Ortiz's thing, too, complete with dental floss. Uh, yeah. I'm not there you go. going to get it. Yo, we going display or knee on it? Oh, I'm going to say display. Display? Yeah. Display. I guess that was the shot. This was, this was the start of the display or knee right here. Display. Display. <laughs> All right. Display. And I'm going to buy her because Calvin messed with me. <laughs> he just pressed. He just placed the order button right there when he put the phone down. Nice piece. All right, so here we go. Let's get into a real display or name. Start this off. Yeah, yeah, but display that. It's time for display or name. Uh -oh. Kicking it off with Stanley uh -oh. Patina Pop. Oh, Patina Stanley. Um, um, I would display this. Does, does he have a gauntlet? Not me. No, nah, no gauntlet. I would display no. it though. I'd All right, Calvin. It. Thank you, Calvin. <laughs> Thank you, Calvin. <laughs> Thank you, Calvin. <laughs> Uh, like he catches right. that trade really yeah, quick. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, don't worry about it, Calvin. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would display that just in in honor of. That's uh, same Stanley. reason I would. Yeah, same reason I would. I I would say no because I already got the other one that I'm gonna be displaying, so I have something in his honor. So that'd be no for me. Yeah, but this is a legit one, the one that you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right? This one is not bootleg. Not a bootleg. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Listen, nothing but silk, baby. Nothing but silk touches his body. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you in the chat, man. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And here's us go get the thumbs up. Two. Only two. Not for nothing, man, but I, while I was on the plane to Japan, I saw that movie, um, what was it, uh, go, uh, Teen Titans Go to the Movies. This makes me uh, think about it because he has a, a scene in the movie. You should check out. Teen Titans go to the movies. That movie is hilarious. It is so funny. No, definitely watch that. All right. What's next? All right. So this one is a Hasbro figure. It's they call it Hyper Real. Interesting. It's not in, it, it's much more expensive than your usual Hasbro figure. Uh, so it's got fabric in it. Um, I don't know why they call it Hyper Real because it, I don't really see the because it's probably because it's probably got like fifty points or, of articulation. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, no. It looks like it comes in a cool. Looks like it comes in a cool box. It does yeah. come in a pretty cool box, and it does have swap out pieces for it. But oh, I don't know that I would display this. I like how it says in the bottom. If you look at the bottom uh, right corner, it says "adult" on it. So like it's basically meant for adults. Now, can, can I ask? It you does say that. Have they ever made a dark Vader um, and uh, with a sculpted cape or no? They're all been fabric. Yeah, mine sculpted. 
Let's do, oh, the case code. Oh, all right, cool. I know, okay, you're sculpted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that's his. That's that's his mythos line. That's his pride and joy. My mythos, okay. Yes. Yeah. So it is sculpted. Okay. Everyone in the chat is saying display. Saying display, display all super- day. Oh, for me. I, no. It kind. I, it'd be kind of cool too if it if it came with like because the box looks like it might be a display case in itself to keep it in. It has a a empire base that you could put them on. Oh, that'd, that'd, be that pretty, that'd be pretty dope. It's actually for for a Hasbro figure. It's pretty detailed for a Hasbro figure. So I wonder. I wonder. Did, they, did you say anything are. about how much that's going to run? I w- I thought it was like seventy nine and change. God damn! Yeah, that's what I said. It's definitely a lot more money than your regular Hasbro figure. Well, yeah, just like the Marvel Legends are like, the than, uh, Hot Toys are like twenty bucks. It's so. a lot cheaper than Hot Toys, and it looks as good as some of them Hot Toys. Yeah, Frank Yot says it looks like it lights up. Does the lightsaber light, light up? I, or I don't know if the lightsaber lights up or not. Okay, uh, it but would be pretty dope if it does though. It would be cool if the chest piece lights up and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's on Big Bad Toy Store. I was like, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll put it on here. Did you order it? No, I haven't ordered it. So, but it's there. All right. Yo, this is, uh, uh, oh, 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 what up, Joe? You just type display before you even display it. <laughs> <laughs> display that. You yes, display yeah. all day. And for the price on that, it's going to be okay. 150, yep. Yep, 150 for that, man. Definitely. So, this is one of the premier select editions, right? Yeah, this is the premier statue, right? So, was that kind of like that Venom that Venom one that they came out with, George? Yeah. Yes. Also, the Psylocke, uh, the Cable. Yeah. I, like, I like that Iceman. That's probably one of the better ones I've seen. I, yet. Yeah, I can't wait to put it together with all, all the Diamond Select I have in my I think room. I think I heard somebody say, and I've looked at the figures that are coming out, for the people that want a complete X Men line, it looks like to get a, a, a full line. The Marvel premiere statues are headed that way. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. right. They do have some of the the more obscure characters that they don't really do much of. Too many characters. Oh, absolutely. I yeah, can't. I would, wait. I would display. I would display that yeah, Iceman. Too, man. Iceman. Calvin, do you know who's sculpting this one? I do not, man. I mm-hmm. don't know who's sculpting it. I like I the color in the in the ice that they did there. That, that's that's pretty cool. That's what we were talking about when we were looking yeah, at another man. one that it didn't have any like, you know, that translucent that. that translucion feature to it. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that was really I'm good. I'm saying, man, Iceman's supposed to be translucent. He's not supposed to be, you know. Yeah, uh, but yeah. yeah, I hear you. When you make it translucent, you're not going to be able to see the details in the face that well. That's probably why they don't do it like that. But, I mean, yeah. this looks cool. This looks like real ice. And the 450? Yeah, it looks really good. Right. I like it. This uh, one. Next. Right. All right, this is uh, Doomsday. And, uh, I'm going to say nay. I'm not really digging it that much. Yeah, I already got mine. <laughs> <laughs> if it good. isn't Prime One or if it was if, if it isn't Prime One or uh, or um, Sideshow Junior doesn't want it, no, and I Junior's is probably capable of eating that one. Uh-uh. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Junior's got big monster hands. This one got baby hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I I buy everything. He got yeah. Trump hands. The uh, Diamond Select, the Diamond, um, the Premier statues, I think, are one six scale, right, George? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the Diamond Select statues are about the same size. They're about the same size. They're just, the PVC. Size they're just yeah. PVC. PVC, right? Yeah, I did, yeah. That's actually yeah. Nope, that's the name for me. I don't. I mean, I, I don't like the pose on this one. It, it's like he's walking forward, or kind of looks like mine still. Yeah, nah, it, it, yeah. It, it, yours it, looks it, like it has more weight to. It definitely has more weight to it. But the way your, the way yours is standing, he looks like he's putting a lot of weight onto the forward foot. This one looks like he's like floating. Like, yeah, it's like a light, like a light. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, I agree Sweet. with you. Okay. Yeah, it's like kind of like climbing. Looks like he's climbing, kind of. Yeah. Looks I mean, like to me it's time to take it off the screen. Wow. Somebody <laughs> said a doo-doo doomsday. A doo-doo doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> and Roger, no, we started about, we started started about 40 8 minutes ago, 8, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So What's up, Fate? Welcome, man. How you doing? Fate. What's up, Fate? There's no fate for the one we make. All right, here's the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Display all day. He's my favorite character right now. <laughs> figured, sure. you, figured you'd be on that one. Yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Cool. I got to find me that cover that's coming out. Is that for the like, new series that's coming out where you... Yeah, like, I, I saw it on, on Comic Book Marvel Collectors. Universe? Yeah, I got to find me that cover, bro, for I sure. I found it on Comic Collectors market, Marketplace. It's $70 for these two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cosmic Ghost Rider destroys Marvel history. Yeah, I can't wait. And uh, what's his name? Uh, that comedian is writing it. Uh, comedian is writing it? Yeah, Paul. Is it Paul Shear? Paul Schaefer. 
no. I don't know. I like the cover though. This is um, uh, what's the artist's name? I like art. You you know the the artist uh, right right Chad? Uh, is it oh, that Clayton Crane? Crane? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think we may have messed up with the time, uh, George. Read, Read what that dude time. said. It said 8 p.m. to PST because it said it starts at 11 p.m. on my subscription page. Seriously? Oh. Wonder why it says PST. Not mine. Mine didn't say. What, 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 is he here in the, in the, in the States? When, when we were logging on, it did say it starts in three hours. I just thought it was a mistake. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe it's something having to do with the time. Um, um, that may be something having to do with me traveling. <laughs> man, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe I haven't set my time back on the on the on the uh, computer. I'm sorry. Right. I had my first beer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's Paul Shear writing it. The right. comedian Paul Shear. I'm, I'm in. He's he's one of my favorite. He is my favorite character right now. So I'm in. I love that character. And Clayton Crane is definitely one of the. Was oh shit! The gambit's in the house. Where's John? Wasn't John supposed to join us? What's up, John? He is. It's chilling, bro. Yo, it's 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 on, oh, oh, there he goes. Dang, yo. Oh. I didn't know you were making a surprise hack. I was going to suit up when you joined us because that was going to be my special occasion, bro. I mean, I want to ca- I want to catch you off guard, bro. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. What's up, buddy? Uh, you know, same old, bro. Same like the old. shirt. Like the shirt. Play- Thank you, man. Love this shirt. This shirt. So, oh, I know Barbara would be proud of this shirt. I know she got my back on this. <laughs> you say something, John, right now. Hey. All right. Vic, Vic just started a new hashtag. Bring John back. Bring John hey. back. <laughs> Vic, my man, Vic. No vetoes. No vetoes, Vic. <laughs> Bring the vetoes. Shit. All right. All right. So oh, let's man. keep it moving. So we all all in, all in favor for this piece. I like yeah. It. Clayton Crane, definitely. Yep. I don't display comics. Uh yeah, true. <laughs> right, we'll think about this art piece right here. This is display. Uh, I like it. It, it is. Uh, I like this one too. I, I, I saw uh, that a couple weeks ago. Our piece is on fire. I, was, I uh, love this I picture, was, bro. I, on it, but I, I can see this way. like over like a like a game room of some kind, yeah, like, like a, a poker, pool like table, a poker table, poker table. Oh, poker table right? Yeah. Yo, yeah, that, that's like you know what it yeah. is because that reminds yeah. you of the ones with the dogs sitting around. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say the same thing, bro. Like, like who needs dogs playing poker, bro? That's right. Like that. uh, that's right, bitch. That's right. Yeah, I really, I really dig this art. Print. It's nice. Is it sold out? Vic is saying it's sold out. Yeah, it, yeah. it should have been sold out. Was that on sideshows? Site? It was on yep. sideshows. I think so. That no, Kate was gonna say display all day. <laughs> yeah, I'll all day too, man. That's a display for me too, man. Yeah, I love uh, it. Definitely. Yeah, it's it's pretty big. It's like forty two right. inches wide or something like that. So not, uh, for an art yeah. print, it's on the you know, it's wide. Damn, it is that is a dope piece. It is, right? I mean look, it's got all the characters in it and everything. Every single character in there, man. I hope they make that regular. I hope they make the then uh, Two Face and Clay Face. Oh man! Oh my God! Yeah, especially if they made oh, all the villains God. afterwards. If they did all that, man, forget it. This would be the art print to have. This is gonna go up in price probably at that point. Well, they, make all the the they already did some of them, so no, that's the a good penguin thing. is right down in the right, bro. Look down in the right beneath the uh, beneath the. Uh, oh, you know what? I can't see because my camera my camera's blocking part yeah, of it. Does the anyone yeah, even man. notice the Batman animated series influence on it? Yeah. That's like yeah, my yeah, favorite Mr. part about yeah, it. Yeah, Mr. Freeze, totally. Yeah, but even How the clay do? face. Look at the clay face. And, 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 and Scarecrow. Look at Scarecrow. See Scarecrow in between? Like... Yeah, Scarecrow. Scarecrow right there in between both of them. Joker True. and Harley right down the True. middle. Yeah, man. I, I wanted to get this piece, but then I kept like talking myself back out of it because of the price. So, but, I mean, it was nice. Why? How much How much was it? I think the print by itself was like 200 Yeah, the, and the yeah. print was so number for 200 bucks. Mm-hmm. This guy. But you know what? You know what, though, George? They actually already made Harley. They already made the Joker. They already made that freeze that's coming out. Mm-hmm. They already made Poison Ivy and Catwoman out of that. And Bane. Looks like Bane, the same Bane we already got. Right. So the Croc, it, it kind of looks like the Croc that you guys yeah, got already, right too. Right. So hopefully they keep doing this line, man. I hope they don't stop, man. Yeah. That, they, they make a penguin like when that one looks like dope. Name one line they've ever completed. None. <laughs> None. Bro, don't keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. None. Oh, all right what's up next all right. all right so the reason why i showed this is because hasbro <laughs> came hasbro came out with the the sail barge for uh 
for, for, um, for their line. It's a vintage line. Yes. yes. And they, I got a left one of those. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> okay. do, do you please tell me you have a price a price with this? It's like forty dollars. Okay. Where the fuck are the figures? Okay, but uh, Seth, so the the sail barge is is a uh, it's supposed to be in scale with the sail barge. So, I mean, if you got the sail barge, I think this would look good with it. So that's the okay. reason why why I showed it. But I think but I think the Hasbro is doing something cool with this. It's their vintage collection that they came out with. So far, it's got a hundred percent nay. Yeah, <laughs> I feel. Hey, hey, watch me nay nay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that! Watch that! Watch that! Oh, right I, keep, I keep forgetting the chat can't see us, but we can see each other. Yeah, yeah. all the crazy faces that everybody makes. <laughs> That's right, Vic. Display it in the recycling bin. Yeah, for the chat. Nah. When you guys see my oh. review on the sail barge, I think I think you'll be changing. Oh, you're doing a review on this? On the sail barge, I am. The oh, sail right. barge is really big. The sail barge is like 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 48 inches long or something like that. It's oh massive. wow! Yeah. Okay. So, I like EMG source. Fuck yeah, <laughs> Vic, Vic said displaying my recycling bin. Right. <laughs> Translate with that. We just said that. <laughs> my bad. I Eric, missed Eric, that. Eric, Eric M is saying, are those tractor beams? Nay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but hey, but I, I mean. Hell to the nah, nah. If you were collecting the rest of it, <laughs> I guess it would look all right. Nah, nah. I know. I think, I think if I found, they didn't have a picture with it with the sail barge. Like, <laughs> you know, the sail I barge like, is pretty dope. I like, I like Frank. Whoa, more, like a drink, more people like in a drink coaster. Yeah, we just had, yeah, 80 we had, we had 82 a minute ago, man. So uh, appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some more Enjoy thumbs it. up? What? What? Can we get some thumbs up in the house? Can we get some get thumbs up? up? After, after, Joyce, after Joyce showed that picture, five of them left. I'll even take down some. Just get the engagement. I do like this piece, though, man. That's dope. There you go. John oh. showed up, and all the viewers came back. Just some All right. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys doing a great job, man. What are you talking about, man? Love you guys. No, I'm being serious, dude. We miss you, dude. I yeah, miss man. having you on the show. I'm there. I just I'm just watching you I guys. Mean, I miss I miss someone telling me how much he hates the eighties. Yeah. Oh, you need you need you need another person to get picked on. I get you, I right? Mean, <laughs> so George, you say yeah, I'm saying nay. What is that? Oh, I didn't say yeah in this. I said nay. Oh, okay. I said I nay. feel like the head's too small. Is that chrome? Is that like a, a pewter no. statue? No, it's not. It's just a digital skull. Oh. Uh, so. yeah, I think the pose is cool and everything, but I mean, like I think the head looks a little bit small on the body. Doesn't it look like the same one that you have displayed behind you? No. No. Mm. That's realistic. It's like on a sewer, it's like on a sewer pipe? Okay, you ever seen a real turtle's head to its body? This shit's tiny, bro. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I just don't feel it. It's not, it's it's right. not, it's not yeah. turtly yeah. enough hey. for the turtle club. Hey. It doesn't matter the best turtles, Mike. Anyways, bro. So hey, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that either, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, uh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up next, man? That's what's yeah, Frank the tanks in display. Frank we tank. got one display. All right. I I like it, Frank. Oh, I'm displaying this all day. I'm gonna Wait. display it and I'm gonna review it. So, oh yeah. hell yeah, man! That's so oh, sick. That's so sick. Me. Let me tell you something, bro. I was on the fence about this. And then I did the collecting news last week, and then I wow. rewatched my collecting news show, and I sold myself on this piece. So that's what happened when this yeah, piece came. Nice. Bro, that looks sick, man. I like it. I like it. Um, display all day. I think it looks like one of the best ones out there. I enjoy, I like it a lot. It's got that whole Frank Miller appeal to it, and everything oh, with the yeah, old man. with the old fighting against the ninjas. Who's, who's making Who's making that one? XM Studios. XM Studios. Yo, but do you like the bone claws? Hell yeah. There's an option well, like for the, the metal claws too. To switch them out though. Yeah, I, like I mean, but do you oh, like that the what's bone on him right now? The bone is that what's coming out of his hands right now? Okay, that, on this picture, claws? yes, it shows the bone claws, but <laughs> there's going to be options for switch out hands for the metal claws. There's ones with it like to the swords. back, and there's with swords too. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, and I and I think all that's I think all that's dope. But just my question, just alone, is like, do you like the bone claws in general? Hell yeah. I think Why? the bone claws are cool. I would go for uh, for the uh, adamantium. Uh, adamantium. Now, how much was shipping on that baby? I don't know. No. I worry right, about that. that I'm all I'm I'm all about the boom 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 boom. <laughs> my, boy, my boy will get it to me in uh. Bet you are. In on a, on a boat, so that way I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Discovery Bay Comics? <laughs> guys, bro. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Let's get moving. 
Oh, oh my God! Me and, and, me, and, me, and George, me and George had such a freaking laugh on laugh at this expense last week. All right, so is you guys it, know what Eddie this Murphy? is, right? It's Eddie Murphy. It's Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I it was, I it's Beverly Hills. It's Beverly Hills Hills Cop. That's actually one of the pops that got announced um, during the uh, the Toy Fair. Uh, yeah. Last week, you know, and me and George were, were arguing about. Well, we weren't arguing about it. We were well, my my, it. my thing with it was is that I said that that the iconic uh, jacket for for uh, for Axel Foley is the Detroit, the Detroit uh, line. Jacket. Yes, right. Yes. But then Seth pointed out that 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 jacket was only used in the second and third movie, which he's right. So then I'm looking at this figure now, and I'm like, if, at first glance, I'm not gonna think. You know, it it, it doesn't really like speak the uh, Eddie Murphy to me because it doesn't look like Eddie Murphy. The the head not like Eddie Murphy whatsoever. You're, I, yeah. I agree. The head, a pop, a pop, you're really, you're talking about the pop head looking like a, uh, like the actual thing. That, but yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. So then the problem is, <laughs> then the problem is, is that, <laughs> that, what is, what is Funko trying to say here with the bananas and everything? I was just like, this looks just totally wrong. They should have just yeah. scrapped this idea altogether. just doesn't seem right. Damn, so, you're, going, you're going there with the bananas, I guess. I'm just I guess. saying it was bad. Oh, in the movie, well, in the, in the movie, he sticks the, banana, the movie, he sticks the bananas in the tail. I know, plate. which I felt like yeah. it should have been a movie scene. Like they, like Papa, yeah, they should have made the movie, movie, movie scenes. Moments. Yeah, movie the moments, moments yeah. where you show him trying to stuff the banana in the tailpipe and, and that thing behind it. Yeah, yeah, that's how I felt. Yeah. Or you have him in in the back with Rosewood and what was the other guy's name? Tagger. Tagger. Yeah, and I think that would have been a better, you know, so that way you have it, it would fit better in my opinion. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. What the, uh, what is it? J J M C L B saying? Uh, what the hell, Funko? Really with the bananas? Yeah, exactly. Don't look right. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Watch me, Nene. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a H and, H and M made it racist. Kevin, where were you? <laughs> I see you, Kevin. Where were you? <laughs> Boycotting Funko and Gucci now. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> this is a display for me. I like it. Yes. Yeah. yeah that, okay. that thing is badass. All day. All day. It's sculpted by uh, Clavin Moore, man. He's back in the game. He's yeah. been sculpting for a very, very long time. Was that Diamond Select or? or and uh, and I think George. I think this is traditionally sculpted too. Yeah, nice. Did did Green Goblin have uh, knee pads? <laughs> yeah. After, after, after he after he saw Mary Jane, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 forget it. My mind's going somewhere else. Forget about the knee pad. <laughs> 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 no, but this is this is that Diamond Select one, right? Yeah. Or is that a uh, General Giant? This is play for me. Diamond Select. There's, people are saying no due to the knee pads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just play that, man. Yo, cool. would you take this over over Calvin's Green Goblin that you want? Or you, you like? <laughs> no, he like won't. No, I want Calvin's Green Goblin. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Calvin. I'll buy you a toilet. You give me that Green Goblin. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what is, what, what is it? Yeah, what is uh, it? Uh, JR, JR is like, listen, man. I'll buy you this, gob this Green Goblin piece. I'll send it to you. And then he's like, you send me yours. And we'll call <laughs> it an even swap. I'll go even install it for you. Oh my God! You're not even no, I'm not talking to you. Personal, I'm personal I'm and delivery. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I'm not talking to you. I love you, bro. I love you. So this Batman's based on Joe Mad's art, uh, yeah. Madweta. Uh, yeah, that's pretty I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It I looks like the new the new Fifty Two suit. Yeah, I'm not into that much of black and white. I'm not either. They're kind of small, but you know, if you're uh, you know budget collector or you want to have a lot of these things, they, they do make a bunch of them. So yeah, yeah they got like cool seventy of them so far. Yeah, there's a ton. There's a whole series on those. Yeah, they're cool. Looking. I mean, it looks cool. So I guess I mean I don't collect that. It's small. Really it's, those those are cool. small though. Those aren't big at all. No, no they're, they're not. not. They're not. I think each one of these are like between forty and sixty dollars. Yeah. There. They're not very tall. They're maybe like Yo, seven inches. Why, ain't, why, ain't you talking, tall. why ain't you talking about his small head then, George? Look at the size of those quads and arms, bro, compared to his head. Uh, so I, I think that looks, that looks good, though. I think okay. That turtle that you were saying looks like he got on, a, on, a, on a turtle who really does have a small head compared to his body. Versus the body like just that. looked really fat next to that little small head of his, you know? Yeah. I think it looks dope. I like the, I like the pose. It's I don't cool. know. The cat, you can't even see his feet. Look at the kneecaps. John's like hitting them with them thighs. Yep. <laughs> he got knee pads, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Batman didn't skip quad day. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I think the black and white the black and white line is really nice though. I think it yeah, is. man, they got some some of the ba- some of the Batman's look that they've that they've sculpted of that black and white line look really weird, but then others actually look really cool. I think because they're all based on different art. That's why I'm oh, going nay yeah. on this one, George. I'll, I'll just play that. Yeah, I'll probably go nay too. So, I don't like Carnage oh, as a character. Hold on a second. Chad yeah. said nay, and Junior said and Junior said display. I say this way too. Duke it, duke it out, boys. Yeah, I'll just no, it. man. I'll it no, no, no. <laughs> this is supposed to be a statue or supposed it's to be a, a boy? It's, and it's I a love piece. Carnage. He's one of my favorite. I think this is a uh, a gallery statue. It's like forty five dollars. Oh, it's one of the PVC okay. ones. Okay. Yeah. Because those are in my wheelhouse. Those I. Can I don't like. know. There's just something. I don't know. It's something that looks like a toy. Me. It's because of Calvin I collect those Diamond Select statues because of his budget on a on collecting segments got me into those. So thank it's you, Calvin. Collecting, Calvin. collecting on always, the budget segments. They're always... I think it's X. Calvin says it all the time. I'm his biggest fan. I am Calvin's biggest fan. I yeah. comment on all his videos. He's done. I like all his posts. You know, I am Somebody, Calvin's biggest fan. Face it, a ten dollar paperweight, man. You break my heart, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> break my heart, man. I'm not going to say that much. I'm Chris Bennett in the house. Whoa. Uh oh, Chris Bennett here. Uh oh. Yo, we got 81 people up in the chat, man. Whoa. Shout out to all of you guys. Make sure you hit that like button for us. Junior, what's yeah, your text? Fuck and, and fuck the one person that gave us the thumbs down. <laughs> hey, bro. Junior, man, I'm give a- it a break. Dude. I'm going gonna to get to that, bro. I just want to know if you're going to have that. That's yeah, all. Man, give oh. it a- <laughs> let, me, let me surprise you, man. Damn. <laughs> man, it's like, yo. Tell me about this. Tell me about the whole movie. I want to know the whole movie. <laughs> All right. Ooh, yes. Ooh, come on. Yeah, that's didn't we week. talk about this last week? That's no, we didn't. No, that's a can't. Bro, that's, that's the same thing. No, we didn't. Last week was all about WonderCon. Yeah, yeah this is Wonder Festival. I think he, he must be he must be mixing up your collecting news segment, bro. He is the collecting news. Oh, because that made that made a, that made an awesome comeback last week. Yeah, it did pretty That's good. Last week. It did. That, that in person. We also got in person. That thing. That thing. Yeah, that thing is crazy. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that thing's crazy. That's, that. That's one of those things that I would. I, 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 how, what did we say? Um, ex or fail? You need both. Yeah, you yeah. do need both on that. Oh, pop, uh, fate said the same thing. Just yeah. as I said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you this. need both on that. Mm-hmm. Why do you consider it an ex or fail? Because you get the you get the uh, the unpainted face or the. The, the face with the war paint on it and the face without it. <clears throat> and then the EX is... The, this is the EX, actually, with the, with the painted face, which I think looks cooler. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I dig the painted face. Yeah. I saw it, Lita Roger. I saw it. Now, I'm hoping that that arm is a switch up or, it has, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's attached instead of just coming as the whole as one whole piece because then maybe somebody can make a piece, make one that has him holding a gun. That would be kind of dope. I still like right. the bat. I like, yeah, I mean, something different, man. Holding guns all the time, you know. I like the fact that he's had in the back. He should have, like, given him, like, with, like, brass knucks in his hand or something. That would be badass. That would have been cool, That's too. That's brutal as hell, though. Yeah, yeah I like it. And even the normal face is dope, too. I like the normal face. But on, on my video, somebody commented on there, it looks like Tom Berenger from, uh, from, um, the hell is that movie? Uh, Platoon? And then oh, he's yeah. right. Yeah, it kind of does. Kinda does. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of does. That's awesome. Yeah, Tyrell, they were talking about a shotgun would have been nice, too. Yep. Nice shotty right there. Yeah, I'm saying brass knucks or a knife. Knife would have been cool. Uh, well, uh, Kota Bukia has that with uh, with a knife. Yeah. Yeah, he made that. They made that one. I'm going to just one. call it right on this one. I would display this. <laughs> <laughs> Up in Smoke was one of my favorite movies. That shit was hilarious. I will display this. <laughs> yeah, I would go display. You got to one time, right? Display all day. I mean, they, 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 they're perfect caricatures of those of those characters, man. I like this. Oh man, that looks pretty. They look high too. That's that cool. is that is a Funko product. I know. I, I like that they actually sculpt the faces to actually look something like the characters. What I was saying, they look funny. What I was saying, they. Yeah, I think they're cool. got a lot of people saying they. Yeah, you display. got a few displays. It's funny, but you know, I display. They're inexpensive. You know, like that, I have it sitting on my that, dashboard. That, I think, I, mean, I think those are on the two the two pack of that is only like fifteen bucks. Yeah, it's okay. cheap, man. Yeah. Somebody bought it for me. Yo, he's a good he's a good debate for you. Teaching Chong or Jay and Silent Bob? A Jay and Silent Bob. Man, that's yeah. hard. 
I don't know. Really, really, that, that's, that's, that's hard, that's bro. Yo, but what's not fair about? about yeah, what's? Terrorists. But I feel like what's not fair about that? I'm young, so I grew up with Jane and Bob. So of course right. I want to say Jane and Bob, but. I like Cheech and Chong, bro. Cheech and Chong is you know, the originals, bro. There would be you no don't have Jane Bob without Cheech and Chong. And Chong. Yeah. So that's that's a hard comparison, man. And I think James if you Chong, ask Chong, Kevin Bob Smith Bob that, Bob he would be he would, he would probably even be torn. But it's two different <laughs> eras. You can't compare that. Exactly, man. It's so it's so oh, it's so hard, man. Like, I'm excited John, for that. John, someone who someone just threw out the someone just threw out Harold and Kumar. That's a better comparison. To Jay and Silent no. Bob, no? Really? No. 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 I would definitely I mean, go with Jay and Silent Bob. You know, I'm Bob. going Jay and Silent Bob, but if you're talking like times and eras and duos, like I don't oh, think it's man, fair it's to... Jay, it's Jay and Silent Bob. There's, yeah, for sure. I'm at... De- oh, that's... I can quote Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back from beginning to end. So and you, can ask, so can you can ask Frank the Tank. I actually... One time he got super pissed at me. and He'll never watch that movie again with me because legit... <laughs> If you get me going, I will go from beginning to end with every word of that movie. You ready? You ready, you ready, Chad? You ready, Chad? Singing, fuck, fuck, fuck mother, mother, fuck. fuck. No, no, you got to go fuck. before <laughs> that, where they're sitting outside the, yo, whose kids are these? Yo, yeah. Tyrell said Bill and Ted. <laughs> Bill and Ted's another one, though. I, I like that, Bill too. Bill and Ted's great. Yeah, that's cool. We got 84 people bucks, on the chat. Little man, put that money in my hand. <laughs> if that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, oh, owe. Oh. My, my jungle love. love. Yeah. Oh, me, oh, me, oh. I think I want to know you, know you. Yeah, what? Just Yo, what the fuck is that shit? Yo, yeah, have you sorry. never heard of Morris Day Jerome in the motherfucking time? <laughs> we are getting demonetized as hell in this place. Uh, don't get me started. Like, I'm going to try to debate really this with YouTube, and YouTube's going to be like, you had a whole section where you said fuck like 20 <laughs> times. And like a... <laughs> I love that movie, man. Yo, you tell him you tell him you weren't saying fuck, you were saying fuck. Like yeah. I fucked you, bro. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker ain't one of us. He said he fuck a sheep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who's stupid now, you dirty sheep fucker? Oh man. We finally got Chad coming out of his oh, shell. Blade <laughs> display. Catwoman, our germ. Please. Oh, display all day, man. Art Germ is one of the hottest guys in the comic game right now. I would dream all over that. Display. That is very pretty. I like it. And she is my her, favorite her, uh, very erotic. DC. She's it's your Catwoman. favorite DC character? For a villain, for a female villain, yes. Catwoman. For female villains. So it's not even villains, it's female villains. Gotcha. For DC. For DC. For DC. Yeah. yeah, so many, so many classifications, bro. Yeah, <laughs> so many ways you could dice it up, right? Right, you know. <laughs> DC villain. That's what I'm saying. Yo, that's what I'm saying, infamous. Yeah, that's my side boob. I was just gonna say, yo, Seth, did you see my brother's comment? Yep, yep. that's my side boob. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but for real, Art Germ is one of the hottest cover artists right now, and pretty much anything that he puts out, people are just picking up, and it's going for you know. Double, triple the amount that it was, you know, yep. put on the shelf for. So if you see an art germ cover out there, pick it up, people. Okay. You'll okay. thank me later. Those Batgirl covers are really nice too, George. You mm. should look into those, man. There's some really nice Batgirl covers he's been doing. I just got the Captain Marvel that he did. Oh it's yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah. It's nice. I hope, I hope I pick up a nice prince in this Comic Con, George. I hope I get some nice. There's also a Supergirl yep. cover he did too. That was. Whew. Yeah, no, he does some the ladies. All the, I like the women. Oh yeah, man, no, yeah. and for sure, yeah. bro. He's one. You're talking about the Comic Con and PA J- JL. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, God, what are you doing? What yeah, fate. That's a cover, brother. So we got any, we, got, we got any more, George? Because we're after nine already. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Display all day. Um. Yeah, I'm not with that piece, man. <laughs> yeah, that piece, it looks like he's getting ready to take it, and you know what? Uh, I like you know, uh, I <laughs> just play that, bro. He's smashing the rocks. I like the way he's. I don't know, man. I I would expect from you, Junior. You would want a bigger piece with all those big ass pieces behind you, bro. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. I feel like that's not big enough, bro. Hey, that's I piece. collect small pieces, man. I collect diamond select. I collect gallery. I collect Bowen. I collect. Right, right. I collect, dude. Come on. Let like him to say Hulk fart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like someone looks like Hulk's about to get smashed. Yeah, I like that to put it with the Dakota Bukia line that I have. It was really good. 
<laughs> Edwin, Edwin, he's already, for, he's already, he's ready for Calvin's toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I get the worst in of these jokes <laughs> <laughs> all the time. That's a good one. I like the worst in of these jokes. I get the worst in. I like this. I like. I like the rage on that piece. His <laughs> EMG source. That's my wife on that special night. That's great. This whole show. This whole show. So is that man based on Frank Miller art? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, that's you gotta go display on this. He looks like he's all cracked out. <laughs> he this is from the Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah, it's from a cover. I know. He's so cracked out. He looks like he's like... like I, had, that's the, I think that's the cover of the, the one that I have in my office, right, George? He looks like he's taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's pushing. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> He just had the female setting on the bidet. That's what it was. So, John, when you got, you got back from uh, Japan last year, did you guys talk this much about bidets? Um, nah, man. Nah. But we also didn't react to them the way you did, though. <laughs> Frank, for Frankie Ortiz, where's the fucking TP, Robin? <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Frankie. <laughs> In the chat, man. 85. That's up, man. Up, man. Yo, if you're not standing like perfectly straight to take a, if you're not perfectly standing, perfect, uh, 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 if you're not standing perfectly straight up, you're not taking a shit. Hey, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. three people up in the chat. Yo, give us thumbs up, man. Thumbs yeah. up, that'd be all. Awesome. Yeah, hook us up with that thumbs up. Constipation yeah. Batman. Hey, that dude needs a squ- uh, potty squatty, bro. Yeah. <laughs> squatty potty. Squatty potty. Squatty potty. Yeah. You Batman too can give himself an aneurysm. <laughs> was it, they use a unicorn, I think is what it is in there? Yeah, the unicorn and yeah. then a poop. Mm-hmm. Like, you can poop like a unicorn. Right, right. It's smooth like yogurt, bro. <laughs> Edwin Diaz, feel the refreshing spray. All right. <laughs> This one and then one more. All right, so we got this is a uh, oh, Cody bro. Hot Toys. Commander Cody all day display. The, the portrait on this is insane, man. I, bro, it's sick. Yeah. Display. That's a day for me. That, mm. that that could stay in the galaxy that it's in. Yeah. That, that, that's yeah y'all crazy, man. That's I would display this. Display the hell out of that, bro. I got that Commander Cody pop too, Seth. I feel like, you know, yeah. Clone Troopers is what made you even like the Troopers a little bit. Because I feel like Stormtroopers, I was always like, eh, what's a Stormtrooper? Yeah, but when the Clone Troopers came out and they had their, all their personalities, and you got to see that, it made you made you feel for them a little more. Bro, do you guys realize he's the one that executes Order 66? That's like my mm-hmm. favorite part, man. He's the one that Palpatine turns to <laughs> execute Order 66. And Not really, because he sent the same message to everybody. everybody. So they, they all, all got- did it at once. Except yeah, for Go- like, except for Rex, bro. I think Rex is still the best of the of the clones. Well, Troopers. yeah, and he's got his own thing with the rebels and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, but for sure, I don't know, man. He, Cody's the one that's right next to him, though. Like he's the first one they show after he says that. No, nah, I did. I mean, for art alone, I think Hot Toys kills it with these portraits and and that mm-hmm. realistic uh, suit that they did. They did a nice like, job. Uh, like, I like what Jesse. I like what Jesse's saying right now. Roy, would you display this? Right, Roy. Yeah. Roy. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's good. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, here's the last one. Oh, hell yeah. That's a hell yeah. Let me see. Yeah. I like it. I would just Can I get a hell yeah? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, look how it has the red skull um, like statue that he's standing on. The- yeah, sick. Oh, yeah. Soap, nope. man. That looks sweet, yeah. And it's like, yeah, like it. yeah. Before yeah. he gets yeah. the, his yeah. shield, I dig it. Is, uh, is that fan art or is that something Wait, somebody's okay. actually making? It's fan art. Where's Calvin? He went to the toilet to get sprayed. Oh, that's you were looking up. right at me. You oh, 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 right right right. That's, that's, that's 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 up, man. <laughs> Complete jackass. Right. Have they been picking on you all day on on the toilet stuff, bro? Oh, it's just Jr. He always comes for me, even though I don't send for him. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I, you know what I saw? What was pretty cool when um, what is it? Is, oh, with the uh, the Toy Fair stuff coming on, um, they're making a um, a Marvel Legends Captain America, where it's him and the motorcycle from his World War II outfit, which okay. looks pretty pretty dope. So I'm, I might actually have to grab that one. Who's making sure. it? <clears throat> it's a uh, Marvel Legends. It's the the the, the, the figures. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I picked up the Ghost Rider on that. That's the they look cool. Yeah, so it comes yeah, with the Ghost bike. Rider one was freaking badass. I could never find it. Yeah, I got, I got lucky. I found that the Toys R Us here going out of business. Red Hood, can I get some context with Calvin in this toilet? You <laughs> cannot. Go watch <laughs> some previous episodes, bro. Go watch last week's episode. You want to know all about the toilet? There you go. <laughs> last week's episode wasn't even that long. So, that's all I got for Display Your Name. And it's pretty much all I got for the show today. Yeah, I kind of rhymed a little bit. Oh, we forgot about chat. Chad, you got some, well, no, we got, we got, Chad, Chad, what do you got for comics today? Anything uh, new coming up? I mean, well, yeah, now I got a working phone that I can film this week, so I'll have, you know, Wednesday coming through uh, with what's coming out on Wednesday. I mean, we're on the countdown to Detective 1000, which is a big book. This Wednesday also as well, so you guys know Gardens of the Galaxy is coming out, so make sure you guys pick that up so that way we can talk about it next week on the Comic Book Club. True. Um, and then, other than that, I mean... The last time, I, you know, I pretty much showed off all that stuff that I got last week that I showed you guys that first Molten Man, the first Hydra Man. So I haven't really found anything outside of that. I mean, the only things I can say in this for Junior Man, like Immortal Hulk just keeps Get getting that. steam as a comic. And like with... Drake uh, is not going to read. So why don't you... Oh, no, that's out? fine. I'm just, you know, he's a Hulk uh, guy. So I'm letting him know. Uh, but uh, uh, last week, Immortal Hulk, the issue number two uh, is... For whatever reason, because it's the first appearance of Dr. Fry. I don't know if you guys remember Dr. Fry from the TV show with Lou Ferrigno. The, I guess yeah, Bill Bixby, and, the Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. So Doctor, it was his first appearance in an uh, actual issue. And now that book, which was three ninety nine when it came out, is a $70 book. So it's a book that's you know gaining steam. So anyone that's got an Immortal Hulk number two, you got yourself a uh, nice uh, little price there. Chad, when yeah. you do your next when you do your next video, you have to find that music for the um, for the Incredible Hulk TV show, so you can play yourself off. Be like, all right, everybody, and that's this week's episode of Comic Chat with Chad. <laughs> hey, hey, George, that, 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 that ask me question. Yeah, that, 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 work. George, hey, that that cover is not is not come out yet. It comes out in March. Um, again, I saw that one at the uh, Comic Book Collectors Marketplace. Is is the group from Facebook, and you can I think our germ was was. Uh, promoting it so if you go to his website it's going to be available for pre-order on his website soon so definitely head over there if you want to get that cover and most local comic book shops can pre-order it for you for when it comes out can they yeah. and what, it and what, might be an exclusive I don't yeah know. i don't know about that calvin yeah because some of these are only available on their websites like okay. art germ is, is is like that that you can only get it on a well, site. but there might be also an art germ cover that to calvin's point that's coming in like you know art germ is a character or an artist that they'll, for instance, do one for one covers on variants. So he might have a, another Catwoman variant coming out. I know there's a few of them that he's doing for this one, though. Yeah, there's, but that could be exclusive to his website. That but could he be. He might have another one coming out for that same week. Because there's like three different covers that he has. I only showed the one here, but there's three different Catwoman covers that he has coming out. So uh, head over to the website and check it out. Can someone say me how? Hey, what's, what's, I think it's artgerm.com. What color book you have on your table? Uh, this is Detective Comics nine ninety eight. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna we'll be talking about that soon. Okay. Uh, this is the Fabak variant. Okay. That's so, cool. Okay. Yeah, man, it's a cool cover. So okay. I, I, right now for DC, I would recommend always get the cover B. This seems to be the hotter cover for whatever reason. Cover B. Okay. Uh, yeah. hey, get that um, cover B. Hey, I believe. Uh, <laughs> To fate, if you go to Art Germ's website, I think you're going to see a lot of stuff that you fall in love with there when it comes to DC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I, I think it's artgerm.com. It or, is. It, it is. is. Yeah. yeah. So, you know yeah. what I want to know? Hey, John. Yep. Where's Captain Puerto Rico, dude? I'm missing my boy. Oh, yeah. Um, he, he started a new, uh, a new league, which is on Mondays, essentially. So, for next, I think, uh, I think through April, Mondays is pretty tough for him. I mean, he can usually get on, but he'll be getting on late. Yeah, I miss my I miss my boy, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I let him know, bro. I let him know. Tell him he's part, like part, it's like part of me is like dead inside because he's not here. <laughs> Calvin, what you got coming out this week, bro? I got one statue review for collecting on a budget. Uh, I got inspired from the. Uh, uh, I've had it for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and review it because they're doing something special with it from a uh, toy fair. Mm. 
Okay. All right. And, this is, and Fate's going to love this, too. I've, I've heard him comment about this particular piece. Okay. Okay. Oh. Seth? So Maybe. tomorrow at 10 a.m., as always, you can expect to see my latest hunting episode. And then this Saturday is the fight to end all fights. This is me. This is fight number two between me and Sergeant Funko. It's I'm hoping I can win this one. Well, I'm not hoping. I know. I'm whoa, 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 whoa. Confidence. Oh, confidence. confidence. Oh, hey, yeah, I, yeah. I, I caught myself slick. All right. So uh, it's messed up as you know that the Sergeant Funko is going to take the clip out of this. But that's what he does. Yeah. Then? That's what well, he's yeah, going to take, take, no, take the clip out of it from earlier where you, where you called me a fucking loser. As um, you put that's, it, the off his head. Head. that's the first hey. thing I thought of. I'm like, you, dang, yo, Sergeant's hey. using that. I know he's going to use that. Wait, you, you, you challenged a Star Wars fan and you got it, right? So <laughs> don't, so. don't question me when it comes to those things. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll learn to use the force next time. Next time so, you're uh, uh -oh, uh -oh, so uh -oh. As far as as far as Saturday goes, um, I've got shit that people haven't seen, and it's just not what we've picked up for the week anymore. We've opened it up to where it's what's in the collection in general. Good. So I've got shit that will do some serious damage. I wouldn't even call them heavy hitters. I would basically just call them destroyers. Oh, so, right. Ooh. Yeah. I'm bringing I'm bringing nothing late, to trade fire this week, down. and I'm gonna put an end to Sergeant Funko's reign because I think his head's gotten a little bit too big for his bridges. And uh, Ooh, like I said, man, he thinks he's the king, and guess what? I'm the king slayer, and I'm gonna fucking burn it down. So yeah. 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 I just hear I just hear a junior in the background. That's all I hear after everything says. Oh. Well, don't worry, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, junior, you need to come with me, dude, so you can be my hype man. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna be talking you up on the 90 Miles from Comics podcast this week. You can find that at the 90 MF Comics YouTube channel. But That's Seth, hilarious. if you want to come on, we're gonna be talking you up on the podcast. Not to worry, because Joe will be on. So. Of course, well, I'm going to try to get has to remain. Joe, Joe has to remain neutral in this. Oh, I know. But of course, Joe is the commissioner, so Joe has to remain neutral. So, but him being a member of the 90 Miles from Comics podcast, you already know I'm going to be asking him some questions before it. So, <laughs> if people, if people want to see what I'm going to be asking Joe, they can come check us out there because I will be talking about that for sure, hyping it up, man. All I can, all, yeah, I, all I can say is that everybody's going to be in for a real surprise come Saturday. Nice. See that, bro. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And then. Uh, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> I love you, Junior. I love you. I love you too, man. Only one, only one guy reports, me on, only one like guy reports me on Monday night. You're having me up. You're having me up, bro. Hey, man. George. What's EMG's up? calling out your, your shiny forehead right now, bro. I said, yeah, man. That's messed up. It's a little hot in here, bro. It's been hot. <laughs> don't you, you, up, man. EMG, don't you know that George Lattice made <laughs> throw up the My forehead's made of chrome. It shines. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, put man. some baby powder on my face before I start the show. You, you, you know what you need? You need, you need one of the big like, uh, you know, like face makeup. Oh, that's funny, man. Oh, man. That's oh, messed man. up, man. All right. <laughs> what, do you, All right. You, you, what do you got coming up this week, George? Um, Junior and I got a review on the Primal Studios Arkham Origins Joker. Yep. I'm gonna mm -hmm. drop this week. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a collecting on a budget episode with Calvin. I got I don't know if that's going to come out this week or the week after. I got a Thanos statue I'm going to be taking a look at. Uh, so that's going to be kind of cool. We got um, we got the, the comic book club episode that's going to be coming out this week as well. Comic book club. Um, oh yeah, and collecting uh, collecting news on Wednesday. Okay. Okay. I think somewhere in between there I'm going to get some sleep. I don't know when it's going to happen, but. It's gonna happen at some point. Somehow we need to make a theme for the comic book club, oh, and we need to like reincorporate the theme for like reading Rainbow. It's in a comic book, so take a look. It's comic. Yeah. Book club. Can we can record that for sure. We can make. I it like it, man. <laughs> yeah. I got the equipment to do that. <laughs> do it. Let's do that, man. I'm down with yeah. that. We'll have yeah, Seth we sing can. it. I'll yeah, sing it. I'll you know? sing it. <laughs> but we got to do the whole thing when Seth says that. You know, he's got to like run around the room and all that. <laughs> we can do the whole op we can do yeah. the whole opening that's funny, man. That so like what we can funny. do is you get me running and then like metamorph me into a uh, butterfly yeah, <laughs> just like fly around that's funny. Yeah. 
Either either that or I'd like to see you guys do like your own Jane Silent Bob song version of it. No man. That's comics, funny. comics, motherfucker. Yo, I've, I yeah, like Vic's yeah, idea yeah. though, Seth. Yeah, yeah. We do need that. a wrestling show with Seth and Chad, and we sh- we should definitely make that happen, man. Right. Yeah. You should wow. oil up. You just want to lather up and wrestle each other. Hey, I got yeah, you. I'm I'm about it. Let's go. I'm oh, coming off the top rope. Wrestle each other. Wrestle each other. At least we know we can get the oil from. George has got it. Yeah, George is like, George's like, man, Seth, bro, right. it's like, you know, your head's always shiny, bro. You just mad that I'm now finally catching up to you. All right, all right, all right. All right. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I still gotta get Seth back for the other thing that he did that last time. He told me he forgot about it. I, I, I forgot about it when I went to Japan, but now he made me remember it. So it'll uh, be on this week, Seth. Just letting you it's know. It's all right. It's all right. You get me oh. back every day. It's okay. Mm-hmm. It's all right. right. Just make sure you bring that twenty dollars next week tomorrow, bro. I'm gonna be coming at you for that. I'll bring you that twenty dollars. Listen, we'll even $20. we'll even film it if it makes you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you pay your debts, bro, because I don't want to have to be chasing you around for the money, hey, bro. Hey, hey, you ready for this? A Lannister always pays its debts. I don't know about that, bro. You're definitely not going to Lannister. Got to hunt you down for money. What was that? Was some, did someone just call Game of Thrones? I, I was just going to say it. Damn. Hey, does, does he even watch Game of Thrones? Nope. I like Red Hood's comment. He's a loser. <laughs> nope. I like Red Hood's comment. Please nope. direct George to the nearest burn center. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so I like Vic's comment. Seth hitting the unemployment line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I would I would hit the unemployment line if he was my boss, but he's not my boss. So, <laughs> oh no! So everybody, yeah, anyways, coming out. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, that's gonna be it. Appreciate you guys for joining us for another uh, episode of that Geek Show. You catch the, this episode every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the MCE Central YouTube channel. You can catch all of our videos at the MCE Central website. And we're going to be coming back at you with more videos just like this one. So stay tuned for all of that. Until next time, guys, keep it marvelous. Keep it marvelous. marvelous. We'll see you on the next MCE train. Till then, (laughs) see you next Monday.